Yes, yes, y'all. You don't stop. We are back. We are back with it. more Dragon's Dog the Dark Arisen. Alright, so this episode is actually going to be super short. Um, I've only literally got one quest to do. Um, but it'll be two quests because I want Katarina to level to level 10 real quick so I can make her a fighter. Sorry guys, I'm kind of yawning. I didn't do an episode yesterday because I was outside last night. So many beds. Um, let's see. How's the day find you? Let's pick a quest to do. It's going to be something along these lines, yeah. Wolves. Maybe wolves. I think that would make good sense. Wolves or spiders. Spiders would actually be pretty easy and it's for experience too. I think spiders are the way. Can I swap at the encampment is a good question. Let's go find out. Actually, I think uh, Bitter Black has spiders inside of it. If you just take that little uh, hop jump down. We share these roads with traveling peddlers, guardsmen, and other people. I want to check uh, the encampment. Because I don't remember too much about this game, well, I remember quite a few things, but I don't remember like certain minor details like, oh yeah, this spot is, the encampment, you can do this. I know you can't go to um, hybrid or advanced vocations at the encampment, but I'm not sure about basics. I think basics were available at the encampment. Alright, let's check it out. No, you can't even do anything here. Okay. So I'm still on the same question. I wish I could tell what time of day it was. Well, I can. Hold up. The sun's in the east, that means it's morning. We'll go inside Dripstone Cave. Or, we can grind on wolves right here. This encampment serves as a fine bulwark against monsters. Nature is unbridled here. It's quite a pleasant corner. The ones that gave us a little bit of trouble before. Should be a lot easier now. If not, we can go inside. I was just seeing if they pop out. I don't really want to go up the trail if I got to. Down right? Yeah. I'm gonna get used to it eventually. That one! Oh, spiders this time. Easier than I thought. What's that? Boom! Double tank Katarina. Now we can go change her into a fighter real quick. <coughs> when she becomes a fighter, I guess I'll give her the uh, the rusted weapons I was using before. So it's going to be make her kind of ineffective. But we'll, we'll push. Especially because I'm only going to do two more levels as a fighter after that. It's close to like a level and a half. There may be materials here. Perhaps we'll find lots of use. Halibere, Halibere.
I need to start paying attention to stuff like that. What? Okay, that's another thing they can fix. Like, make sure that the pawns, whenever they have rotten stuff, unless you're gonna start making poison arrows or something stupid, like get rid of it. Okay. Some grand sword soldiers. Fast travel would be so neat. So neat here. Okay. Now we gotta swap over to night time again. I'm still learning to cast for this. What is there to learn here? Here's we go. Seems a fair place to rest. Quite tidy this room. Listen, shall I see to you have my you speak? I would take it. My hope is I shall for now my course is unchanged. I shall help as I am able, and pray that if there is aught I can do, say. Oh, she just barely made that cut off. Sorry, there's no points for you to learn a skill. <laughs> you're gonna learn to fight with that sword. That rusty my, sword. I shall aim. For now, my course is unchanged. Sir, I would take you there now. Okay. Take care at the water's edge, master. So normally the problem is you want to do this during the... Uh, okay, l let's set, reset the run to daytime. Go to Grand Sword right now. The first good piece of it we can run without any negative impacts. The roads are safer than the brush, but still we'd best stay wary. How did I cancel? Yeah, I used to do that. Instead of stopping, I just hit the uh That 
let's grab what's this button? Nothing. That way I don't have to pull off of the button, of the stick rather. This encampment I think you do a fine bulwark against monsters. Not sure. The road splits here. Be doubly sure of which way right. to our destination. So they're armed, Master. Kill them all. It is genuinely faster to just fuck your freaking go. go this way. Slow it up. Tree of Sunbrights. Is even larger up close. <laughs> oh, you got act right in your blood. Cool. I pray the day monsters no longer haunt the roads is not far off. Now, up here, you can catch a save point. Just in case things go sideways. The road splits here. What's that? Be sure of which marsh? Is to our destination. There's gonna be a rift stone in the in the tents over here. Which is very, very useful. Or by the tents, not in the tents. I put my port crystal in the tents. Now, <clears throat> I forgot how long a day is in Dragon's Dogma. It's in my guide somewhere, but we basically want to wait until the sun closer, at? It's not noon yet, unfortunately. Yeah, it's still actually very early. Um, okay. It's going to be a boring stream if I do this the way I want to do it. Which is, normally what I would do here is I would wait until it is nighttime. Well, not nighttime. Until the stars just pop out. And then, but before the, uh, the pawns start putting, uh, putting on their lanterns. And then I'd start the ox up. However, if I do that during this run, you're going to be waiting forever. So I'm not going to do that. I'll just come back out during nighttime again later. Or I'll find some other way to get those uh, to level 12 real quick. I trust you rested well given the hour. The our reason arose late this day. Oh, eh? <laughs> uh, I never caught that pun. You're funny. We make for the capital, men. Like as not, the cart will draw beasts along the way. Stay vigilant. Keep close, our reason. The Duke will have no use for you today. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so... 
Hopefully we don't do level to 13. Quest knowledge. Okay, so normally if I'm a new game plus, what I would do is give it to me. Oh, not that. I'd do this. I'd do this, and I'd sit on top of this ox the entire time. However, eh, that might just work out for maybe half the ride. And that way I could just basically AFK this while riding the ox. Right, Oxy? Goblin. Even goblins Goblin. And they walk the roads openly of late. Take no chances there. Cut them down on sight. And that is why you kick the ox. <laughs> Strategically. <laughs> and now we're back on. Nothing gonna stop me and my horse. Woo. Chill. Good job. You're lucky I don't have takedown. Pick up all these claws and stuff. Get some discipline. I like that. I have it. You know that's not a bird. Why, why are you talking about bird? Burn them to ash. That's all. Leave it to me. Um. Maybe I'll let this slow roll. I named this episode Ox Kickers Anonymous, and now I want to let it slow roll so that maybe we can get the extra fights at the end against the, uh... Well, that'll come when it comes. There you go. Level 2 already. Look at you getting disciplined. Bad disciplined. <laughs> Yikes. We're so close to level 13. I might I might have made a grave mistake here. I might not be on min-max right now. The messed up part is you can't really help your... How many... Like, you, the, the amount of experience you get right here is kind of fixed. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Do that again. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's the good stuff. No, no. Yeah, leave my, leave my homie alone. There you go. There was a... There. A crystal back there. Got it. Got him, coach! Oh, looks like I didn't even get experience for that. That's great. So, in order to heal this ox... Well, there's two things I can do. What? Let's do this. This should force the... Alright. Who 
who's up there? This one's empty right now, right? There's nothing in there. He's just a dude. Behind us! Stand clear! Don't stop! We're exposed here! Yeah, that 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 shack is safe. Um, okay. You're moving slow. Go. I'll heal your wounds. There we go. Heal it up. There you go. There you go, Oxy. Heal up, heal up, heal up. Let's do that again. We have to keep for animal abuse out here. Anytime. Because it's uh optim not optimal. Remember kids, animal abuse is optimal. I shall restore your health. Hold on. Especially when it's tied to self-abuse. We harm ourselves by harming the animal and it makes us faster. Thank you. Nobody hurts my ox but me! Ooh, a Retrex. I'm pretty sure I need that. Is this something that my ox could kill? We cannot turn back. Stand strong and press onward. I don't even know if I picked up that retrix. What's that? There we go. We got it now. That's a rare drop for them. It is treacherously steep. Get down there and start killing some stuff. We must take care. The past is more great. Were they invisible or not? Yes, they were. Oh yeah, they will keep coming on until you hit that. I don't want all that extra experience, so let's just go ahead and move forward. Alright, I think this is one where I just kick the ox and get some kills, right? There, goblins. Oh, never mind. They're t interfering too much for me to get that kick. Good job. We have triumphed. Take my fire. We 
a mere half Careful, between the encampment the and the capital, Good. my boy. We've come this far safely. Stay vigilant till we're in Grand Soren's gates, men. Yep. The canyon floor is an apt spot to find ourselves surrounded. <laughs> I wanted to get that hit. I knew it was coming. I actually did that on purpose. I know it sounds like, yo, I got back up and pwned him. Like that type of meme. But I actually did plan on getting hit by, by a bush on purpose. So that I get uh, a heal on this uh, on this guy. There we go. Come on, heal me, heal me, heal me. Right here, right here. Before this band has come. There you go. You try to lead the ox by a little bit. I shall be strong Hold on. Maximize the amount of. We are nearly there, men. Now march. Maximize the amount of. Oh, this is bad. Okay, well, if they're just a bandit, then any here you go. So always do when it comes to fighter. This combo, the five hit combo, is really good. So it's. Somebody else can take care of that. Standard, light, light. Uh, you stagger the second light, and then you uh, just do the last three lights really fast. That is a really good basic target combo. That's fine. I don't want any more. You're lucky. <laughs> You're lucky. You're fortunate that I don't want any more. Okay, it looks like it's getting kind of dark out. If I was slower, these extra... Um, Race would have been summoned, but they did. Good stuff. Where are my? Do I only have one healer? I guess she doesn't have the inclination, even though she has the spell. I shall restore your health. Hold on. Go. A good start to any task is talking with others. Please do not skip straight to freaking level 14. The Duke's is great. Between his duties as sovereign and the worm hunt, a curative will serve. I shall be strong. Hold on. That's not blood on the ox. That is, um, jelly. It's covered in jam. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. It looks like the lowest health is the farther it goes, by the way, so... That stops being incredibly effective the more you do it. We've arrived. Well done, men. A Hydra's head is a fine prize. Please, because it's going to be a checkpoint save, so please don't be level freaking 13. Please have enough discipline for freaking Mystic Knight. Walk proud through these streets, men. We are heroes to the people of Grand Soren. <laughs> I just need this to not take me to level 13. Oh yeah, my pawns are underleveled. I probably should have swapped them out for higher level pawns so I get less experience. I'll make for the castle directly to offer my report to his grace. I'll have word sent for you, friend. Pray, sojourn in the capital a while. Sojourn with you a while. To the castle, men! Step lively! Pretty ass eyes. Yo. <laughs> Mason Pervin on you is <laughs> really weird. Ah, 
fortune smiles upon me. No, it's not smiling upon you. No. I am called Mason, if it please you. It does not please me at all. Don't now touch me. Come to the capital, a conquering hero. You'll be needing what to do, eh? My word to you: begin with the pawns. Inquire about them here in Grand Soren. Their kinds woven tight into the fate of the Arisen. If you know your destiny, know them. I feel more familiar with this quest now. I've learned what to do in this. Please quest. do not. Yes! We here, baby! Okay. That works for me. How close was I? Was I, like, stupid close, or... Yeah! <laughs> 1500 off. So, cutting back was effective. It was necessary and effective. Okay. Um, do I have enough discipline? Do I have enough discipline? I do have enough discipline. Nice. Are you the Ar ah, forgive me. Uh, pray, allow me to begin anew. Yeah, no, I'm the legend. You, I am him. This is my inn. Though we deal in a number of trades here, I hope this is the first of many visits, sir. Yo, you got eyes like Mason. I don't trust you. Oh, you wish to learn of the pond region? Then the shortest path to the answers you seek leads west from here. There you'll find Grand Soren's Pond Guild. It is a gathering place for their kind. Just tell the sentries you have business with the guild. Have your pick, any you like. Yeah. <laughs> I need to do this ASAP Rocky. Like, now. Um. I'm gonna unlock it first. Have your pick, any you like. Swap back. Now that I know I have enough. Discipline. Let's see if there's anything I want to learn from Fighter right quick. So, and okay, so look here at your. Oh, you can't see my finger. At your bottom right, that'll tell you if the skill is locked to a class or not. So this skill is locked to Fighter. So if I learn it right now, it wouldn't be effective on Mystic Knight. But see these three skills? They have nothing to do with Fighter. Well, you can use them as Fighter, but they are universal. If you're using a sword, you can use them. Um, and that applies to mace as well. So, all, th all these skills. Oh, hindsight slash would be me up. Be mean. But, um, I'm not going to be fighter again for a long time. So, there's the possibility of upgrading burst strike. Mm, probably not. What I remember is that Mystic Knight was a thirsty class for discipline, so I probably actually want to conserve discipline here. Um, Seal Storm. None of the shield attacks are going to be useful. Um, take down, yeah. The basics are needed. Um, deflect, I'm not going to be having any use for. Yeah, yeah, no, not really. No. Okay, cool. What about cat? All right, so she's—I forgot how long she's supposed to be. A, uh, I think until like like level thirty-three or something like that, right? So yeah, Tuss toss, scour lash, flesh skewer. Alright, Tuss Toss is actually going to be incredibly important for her. I don't trust a pawn to use this well. Like, you have to really anticipate the opponent coming for you. Um, this can prevent damage, it's nice.
this is useful against the small enemies in the early game as well. And since we're in the early game, I think that would be useful. What are we looking at here? Pawns have a bad habit of not being close enough to their opponents to actually use abilities like this. Like especially if the ability needs you to be right on your opponent, I don't trust the I don't trust the pawn to actually to be close enough. It really is between burst strike and Here's the thing, I'm probably going to end up giving her the ring that upgrades her uh, Blitz Strike, so let's go with Dire Onslaught for now, because that is such a great attack. Alright, she's out of stamina again, or discipline again. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep, uh, keep what I got. None of that matters, really. Did I get anything in? I didn't even use the stuff I had. Meanwhile, she did get a lot of new stuff. That's such a waste of time. I almost want to say don't use it. Can I, like, make it not a thing, right? Yeah, don't waste your time with that. What will it be today? Um, let's change vocation again. Go to Mystic Knight. Yes, sir. Um, we will pick up this. We will pick up this. So these two things we farmed <laughs> earlier. And it was so painful. Um. Oh. Okay, so this is what I normally do. I do end up putting on a set of Voldemort armor. And honestly, I, I'm just going to do it. Sorry, guys. Like, it, it's effective. It's very effective. I have no shame in my game. <laughs> Dark Rift has been out for a while. Y'all should know about this already. I can get Grand Angle if I put this on, so I think I'm going to do that. And then I can give the Cat the Swordsman's Ring, and there we go. Now we have uh, Blitz Strike. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not going to give her a dress, guys. I'm not that kind of. of <laughs> yeah, I'm not that. I'm not that guy. The nun, the nun is like, it's not broken as this, but it's still incredibly good for, it's basically the same, right? It's actually good, like, cosplay if you want to do kind of like a saber build. Um, oh, speaking of saber. She can actually use real weapons now. So, cat. Get the sword, get the shield. You can put this nonsense away. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'll keep her in her basic outfit. I gotta, I gotta retain some of the challenge. So, no, no queen's dress for this run, and no nun dress either. But I will be using the. Uh, the what you call it, the Valdon armor. Because why would I punish myself like that? That's your pick. In your life, what will it be today? Sour Scrag. Uh -huh. I'm gonna need to find a. I'm 
I'm gonna need to find a staff and I know exactly where one is. So we can go get that soon. Anything else important? Because I, I think I'm at the end of this episode. Um, so, I will be swapping the sorcerer at level 23 so I can go outside real quick and get the. Um, get the uh, basic archer staff. What's it called? Um. The common archer staff, that's what it's called. Have your pick. Come look at what to do in this quest. I've gained quest knowledge. Man, look at this drip. Look at this drip. So, actually, before I do this, let me go back inside. Why does this take so long? Elden Ring doesn't take that long to load a level. If I'm not mistaken, entering Grand Soren changes the time to... Or was that just for the cutscene? It doesn't change the time. Out of my way. Take your business. All right. What kind of guard are you? Oh no, the sun's still the sun's still setting. Seems this is where the merchants go. It's quite open. So this is the pond room. I just came here to um to get a quick uh and a free, more importantly. To get a free Oh actually I have an eternal fairy stone now. I forgot you get that as soon as you get the drink so you get the grand sword. So I can uh go get that real quick. It's kind of the most important part of getting the grand sword is getting that eternal fairy stone. It's like the first thing you should do is take that out of the box. So Yes, sir. What will it be? And your stomach? Right back outside. So I'm gonna stay a Mystic Knight from level 12 until level 23, and then swap the Sorcerer. I think there's a high chance that I end up with King Dragon's Whip before I end up using Common Archer Staff, but we'll see. If that is the case, I could always sell Common Archer Staff, so I'm not too worried about it. There it is. You can just make your way across here. I've been drenched. Is it the weapon pal or there it is. Okay guys, we're going to farm for this. I don't know how long it's going to take, um, but this episode is effectively over. You don't have to sit around and wait for me to actually get it. When I pick up the next episode, I'll be in Grand Soren doing Grand Soren things. 
optimally, as usual. Dark as night. Oh. Okay, I don't know what she's saying, honestly. Keep it real with you guys. I don't know anything that she was saying. Real swing. Yeah. So the reason I wanted to look that up. That checkpoint save real quick in the pawn guild was in order if I mess up and I pop that box open, I don't have to, you know, reset too far. I can just uh, reload checkpoint at the pawn guild. So setting checkpoints, learning how to do that is a very important part of uh, saves coming. Because you get two different types of saves. You get your checkpoints, which are permanent. You are screwed if you get one and it's in the wrong wrong spot. And then you get your soft saves that can... Uh, you can always go back to a checkpoint that occurred before a soft save. But you can't go back to a checkpoint or a soft save that happened before the last checkpoint. That's what a checkpoint is. So, if you, I guess you could call it checkpoints hard saves, but this game calls them checkpoints, so I'm going to call them checkpoints. So just be careful when you take checkpoints and when you want to check. Don't take them when you don't want them, but definitely take them when you, de when you need them. Sometimes it's like, eh, I don't want this checkpoint. Like, when I was going into the city of Grand Soren, I didn't know if I wanted that checkpoint or not. Like, that checkpoint save would have had me stuck. I would have been suboptimal for an entire rest of the run if I was higher than level 12 there. If I had 1,500 more experience, that would have been... A, I won't want to say a reset, but this entire run would have been scratched. Well, it would have been effectively a reset. Because I'm not going to finish this series if I screw up that badly. Especially this early on, I could, and I would, probably restart the game, do it all off stream. When I get back up to Grand Soren, I pick up the stream and just tell you guys, hey, I just redid everything you saw before. And now we're at Grand Soren at level 12. <sighs> Wait. Oh, uh, I guess this isn't effective, is it? How far can you go? Does the grind hurt? The run don't even hurt you. <laughs> it's literally just a reset. Unless you're a pawn, in which case it says, nah, you gonna die today, boy. Making the Brian kill pawns is probably just an idea like, yo, know what we should do? <laughs> Make the Brian kill pawns. Maybe they, maybe they started off with the Brian killing the Arisen and pawns, and then they decided, hold up, that's really oppressive. <laughs> let's, let's make the Brian reset Arisen, and then kill, it'll still kill pawns, because who cares? Like that, it's your fault if your pawn dies. So now we have this theory that the Brine just hates pawns and the in the lore for some reason, because they're Mervidons or whatever. <laughs> Dragon's Dogma Two has to explain to us what the heck is going. I bet they give us the ability to swim. I bet. I bet they give us the ability to swim somehow and drag them. And then, and then it's just like, well, what's the brine? The brine never happened. <laughs> oh, 
I bet they give us the ability to swim in Dragon's Dogma too. Like, no, more than two feet of water was instantly fatal. You can't just give us the ability to swim. Oh, I told you guys, my my luck is just not on. And when I go to get Thunderclap, it's going to be just as bad, if not worse. Because every time I save scum, I'm going to be save scumming for weapons, pretty much. And weapons are, I think, the rarest items. Ah, come on. Ah, my legs are super sore. I went for a really hard run yesterday. Just not feeling it. <sighs> Hate doing this. I think I got about nine more years, eight more years of that. Until I can finally uh, put it down for good. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let it strobe a couple times and then I'm going to reset or actually save. If you're still with me, I told you. You could have you could have turned off the video already. You had the option. You had every I, I, I gave you every opportunity. It's not my fault. Now you gotta now you gotta stay for the end. No, you're committed now. You can't leave. Keep the video running. <sighs> One, two okay, that felt good. Fingers crossed. I blame the dragon for my shit, oh, for my crappy luck. Alright, so my notes say, if you're playing Mystic Knight, remember that you need to purchase the Reflect Corsica at rank 3 in order to use the counters properly. Of yes. Yes. That is actually incredibly important, um, because if you don't, then you'll get like a little flash on a perfect block, but it won't be the full power of the skill. It'll be like just a little bit of the effect. Like you'll get some damage, but it won't like give you that free angle if you're using fire counter or whatever other skill. Guarantee I'm gonna. I am gonna have Jean, King Dragon's Wit by the time I go into there. Well, I'm, not, I'm definitely gonna have King Dragon, Dragon's Wit. King Dragon's Wit is the way is a way more powerful Archer Staff than the common Archer Staff at this point in the game. If I end up not having to use this, I'm removing this from the guide. And then I'm going to hate myself for having it in the guide in the first place. But I already knew I could use King Dragon's Whip by the time I get into the Everfall. So, I wonder why I left it in there or did I just forget that I put it in there? You know what it is? I left it in there for people who were going to be sorcerers early, I think. Like... If you came to Grand Sword and your very first plan was to swap the Sorcerer, I think so. that's why I did it. That's why I left this in here. But I don't think you needed to. I don't think I needed to hit this box. 
now I'm invested in this box, so I'm going to continue hitting this box. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to. By the time I make it to Sorcerer, I'm going to have King's King Dragons with. Like, I think three missions from now, I'm getting King's Dragon King Dragons with, which is way way. It's like the like third most powerful arch staff you can even get this early in the game. Well, the third most powerful arch staff you can get until you beat the freaking dragon, actually. And it's available super duper early. Like, to the point where the common arch staff is kind of pointless. Like, just sweat it out as a mage for a couple until you get the king dragons with. Although, I think the challenge... Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. We got it. The challenge level for getting king dragons with is actually really high. Probably not as annoying and tedious as getting um, that archer staff, though. Because the common archer staff, um, that was annoying. I ain't gonna lie. Anything you have to farm is annoying. Like, I know I have to go farm Thunderbolt right now. Or th was it Thunderclap? You guys are idiots. Not you guys listening to the stream. <laughs> Although some of you might be idiots, but <laughs> per se. <laughs> The pawns are idiots. Okay. So, um, <laughs> free fairy stone, free money. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna cut this episode right here, and then um, we'll start over from this exact frame. So, I always have to meet you